Hello and welcome! In today's video, I am going to tell you about a really practical strategy in financial markets, so make sure to watch this video till the end. This strategy works in all markets like crypto, forex or stocks. And you can also use it in all time frames from 1 minute to 1 week. For now, I choose the Ethereum chart with the 1 minute time frame. Next, I'm gonna add the first indicator to my chart. In order to do that, I open the Indicators tab and type UTBOT in the search bar and add UTBOT alerts to my chart. This is how this indicator looks. As you can see, it's a very simple buy and sell indicator that shows us the exact price we should intra-trade. But using this indicator in its default settings is not a good idea because it gives out too many fake signals. But I want to show you some special settings that eliminates almost all of the false signals. So I open the UTBOT alert setting and in the inputs tab I set key value to 4 and I change the ATR period to 300. Next I go to the style section and disable the sell option and close the settings. Because of the settings I just applied to this indicator now I'm getting only buy signals. I have another special adjustment for the sell signals that I am going to showcase later on the video. Working with this indicator is so simple. As soon as a buy signal is given on a candlestick, you just need to open a trading position at that candlestick's closing price. I mark the trigger candlestick with a vertical line. This is the candlestick on which the buy signal has been shown and on its closing we can enter a trade. If I were to enter this trade, I could have gained a nice profit. See the next signal here? It is a buy signal. I enter a trade at the trigger candlesticks closing. And this trade could also be profitable. Or this example in the 15 minute time frame. I could have gained 3% profit from this trade alone. Now let's add the sell signals to our charts as well. So I open the indicators tab again and add a second UTBOT alerts indicator to my chart. I search UTBOT again and add this indicator to my chart for a second time. To apply the sell adjustment to this indicator, I open its settings. And in inputs, I set the key value to 6 and the ATR period to 1. Next, up in the style tab, I disable the buy option so that it shows us only sell signals. Now in our charts, we got both buy and sell signal. As we were entering trades using these indicators buy signals, we can use its sell signals to enter trades as well. At the closing price of this candlestick on which the sell signal has been displayed, we can enter a sell trade and another sell signal back here. Here are some more examples in the Euro USD chart with the 1 hour time frame. Now for getting rid of the against the momentum signals like this buy signal here which has been given in a descending trend and also in order to be able to identify these signals in trends, I am going to add the third indicator that is a trend finder and an assistant for the candlesticks to my chart. So I open the indicators tab and type linear regression candles in the search bar and apply this indicator to my chart. The chart will change to look like this and the candlesticks get smoother. To make the chart clearer, we just need to disable the main candlestick from up here. Click on this eye icon to hide the main candlesticks. Yeah, now we can see the smooth candlesticks. We also need to optimize the moving average line shown by this indicator. Open the linear regression candles settings. In the inputs tab, change the signal smoothing option from 11 to 200 and close the tab. Now this moving average shown is a moving average 200. Adding this indicator to my chart is going to help me identify the against the momentum signal. Whenever the candlesticks are below the moving average 200 line, I'm only allowed to enter sell trades because we should consider the trend which is downwards. And there's the opposite. 
As long as the candlesticks are above the moving average 200 line, I can only enter buy trades and trade according to the momentum of the market which is ascending. Let's review the trade entry condition again. We should enter a buy trade when a buy signal has been given by UTBOT alerts, like this one shown over here. Then, in order to confirm the signal having the same directions as the true momentum of the market, we should be sure that the candlesticks are above the moving average line. This candlestick is above the moving average 200 line and we have gotten a buy signal on it. So, this signal is confirmed and we can use it to enter buy trades. I enter a trade at these candlesticks closing. I can set my stop loss below the previous swing low. I adjust my stop loss according to this swing low. And for the TP, I can use 1 over 1.5 risk reward ratio. So I adjust the TP with a 1.5 ratio. For another example, we got a buy signal here. The signal is above the moving average line, so it is valid and we can use it to enter a trade. So I do open a trading position at this candlesticks closing. I set my stop loss below the last swing low and adjust my TP to 1.5 ratio. It is the exact opposite for sell trades. I just need a sell signal from UTBOT alerts and the price should be below the moving average 200 line to confirm the signal. I entered the trade at this candle 6 closing, setting my stop loss above the last swing high. And like buy trade, I set a 1 over 1.5 risk reward ratio for exiting the trade. With using the moving average 200 line, many fake signals like this buy signal and this other one here gets filtered and it prevents us from entering a trade against the market trend. Now let's see how this trading setup performs in Ethereum chart history with the 1 hour time frame. With only 3 trades, we could gain 225% profit which is a truly big profit for such few trades. I really recommend using this strategy because it is very accurate. But if you want another strategy that is as good as this one, make sure to watch the next video. Take care and goodbye.